got seven time management tips to help you get organized and run your day instead of your day running you. So if you're tired of racing out the door at the last minute, of missing appointments, of looking for shoes in the morning, I've got you covered. And stay till the end because I've even got a bonus tip for you. Tip number one is to plan your day the night before. Some experts call it pre-planning your day. And according to Jill Green, Vice President of HR at AutoZone and Career Development Strategist, she says it is so important to plan your day the night before. That means sit down at the table the night before and review your planner. Do you have any appointments? Do you have any errands you need to run? Do you have any calls that you need to make? Are there book bags, lunches, or work bags, or diaper bags you need to pack? If so, do those things the night before. And then prioritize what needs to be done on your upcoming day according to number one, two, and three. So what needs to be done first, what needs to be done second, and what needs to be done third. That way, if you don't get to the other things on your list, you will have a sense of accomplishment because your priorities were taken care of. And to check your planner, and that means you must have a planner to check. And you wanna make sure that you have a planner that works for you. I am currently using the Inkwell Press 360 Disc Planner. This is the one that I've been using for the last few years, but I am currently trialing Kimmy's planner. This is the new She's in Her Apron Planner, and I am trialing this one for the month of September to see how I'd like it, to see whether or not I can get it to work for me. But the big thing is you need to have a planner that works for you. And the nice thing about Kemi's planner is that it's got a place to put your morning routine and your evening routine and checking your planner should be on your to-do list for your morning and your evening routine because even though you check your planner the night before, you also want to go back and check up the morning up just to make sure you haven't missed anything. And then Kita from At Home with Kita has a video on how to choose a planner that works for you. She has a whole series called The Planner University, and I really enjoyed the one that talked about choosing a planner that works for you because it makes no sense to spend good money on a planner that doesn't fit your lifestyle. Tip number two also comes from Jill Green, and she says to direct your day. That means if you've got an appointment, to schedule that appointment on your to-do list. Set a reminder in your cell phone. So just put a couple of things in place to help you stay on top of the things that you need to do. So if you need to make a phone call or to run an errand, actually schedule a time in your planner as to when you're going to do that. And this bears repeating, even though you reviewed your planner the night before, you want to review it again as part of your morning routine, just in case you overlook something or something was added since you checked it last night. Put the most important tasks at the top of your list and then mark them off when you get it done. That will give you such a sense of accomplishment. Remember, what gets scheduled tends to get done. Tip number three is to create a morning routine and to stick to it. After a while, the routine becomes a habit and it becomes effortless and so you're able to get that done so much more Quickly. You might want to create a checklist with that morning routine and then put it in your planner and mark it off as you get your task completed. Because here's the thing, you never forget anything until you do. And you don't want that day to be the day that you have the least amount of time to spend scrambling around. So make that morning routine part of your checklist in your planner. Before we hit tip number four, let me tell you that this video is part of the Mega Motivation hosted by Dawn at The Minimal Mom. Some of you are dealing with back to school and some of you are going back to work. So Dawn thought this would be the perfect time to bring to you time management tips. And there are a whole host of creators like Jennifer Scott from The Daily Connoisseur and Megan at Megan Fox Unlocked and Natalie Bennett at Natalie Bennett and so many other creators 
who are going to be bringing to you their top time management tips, including Dawn. If you're not familiar with Dawn at The Minimal Mom, I will link her video in the description box below. And I will also link the playlist so that you can see what all the other creators have to share with you. Okay, let's get to tip number four. Tip number four is to place book bags, work bags, and diaper bags by the door the night before. Pack lunches as part of your evening routine. Put that on your evening routine checklist and have them waiting in the refrigerator for a grab and go, meaning that they can just grab the lunch out of the fridge and drop it in their book bag and keep it moving. Check book bags the night before for notes from the teacher, any permission slips that need to be signed, homework that you need to review, any announcements, whatever. Check those book bags the night before, take care of what needs doing, and then set them by the door. And tip number five is to lay clothing out the night before. And this includes your clothing as well as the children's clothing. It just saves time by limiting the discussion about what to wear because that conversation took place the night before. And shoes are a problem in so many households. It seems like so much time is spent looking for shoes. So find those shoes the night before and have them sitting by the door with the work bags, the book bags, the diaper bags, and whatever you need to have set by the door. And be sure and stay till the end because I do have a bonus tip for you. Tip number six is to get up before your family gets up. Now this is really important. If you can get up 30 to 45 minutes before your family gets up, this allows you the time to have a little bit of peace and quiet and get yourself dressed before you have to deal with them. You can also pre-plan some easy breakfast ideas so that you already know what's what. You could even set up a little breakfast bar, like maybe have set out some yogurt or packets of instant oatmeal or a cold cereal or muffins and fruit. Whatever it is that your family likes, you could have a little bit of that already set up on the counter so that when the kids come down for breakfast, they can take a peek at what's there and quickly grab what they want or you can quickly assist them to get what they want. Just save so much time in the morning. And it also makes it easy on you. Before we get to tip number seven, let me say that this video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. And our featured apron for the week is the sweet pea. Visit us at www.aprondiva.com. Tip number seven is to hang up jumpers, shirts, blouses, skirts, skorts, and those kind of things as soon as they come out of the dryer. Fold up the pants and shorts again as soon as they come out of the dryer. Now this sounds like a little thing, but it saves you so much time on ironing. And the last thing that you want to do after a long day is to have to iron clothing that got wrinkled because it didn't get put away. Now for the bonus tip. The bonus tip is to use a slow cooker or instant pot for meal preparation. Slow cookers and instant pots can just save you so much time. With a slow cooker, you can start your meal early in the day, say somewhere around eight or nine o'clock in the morning, and then around five o'clock when you're ready for dinner, your meal is ready to go. And Instant Pots allow you to get a meal on the table in less than an hour. So to my young homemakers and even my seasoned homemakers, I highly recommend an Instant Pot and a slow cooker. They do different things at different times. So you definitely wanna have one of each and your arsenal of kitchen appliances. What are your time management challenges? What makes you crazy and throws you off track? Tell me in the comment section below. And if you got value from this video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. It just helps me out so much with the YouTube analytics. Be sure to check out the top time management tips playlist. I've got it linked in the description box below for your convenience. To see one of my homemaking stories, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out one of my homemaking stories and I will see you next time. And don't forget to visit Apron Diva at www.aprondiva.com.